A big mistake when dealing with knee arthritis is taking your knee and compressing the knee and then moving the knee. The real secret to pain-free knees, especially when you have arthritis, is to distract the knee and then move the knee. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. This is your femur, the thigh bone, and this is your shin called the tibia. This is your foot right here. And this is your kneecap or your patella. We're gonna be discussing the structures between the femur and the tibia. Right here on the inside part of the knee, I'm gonna get up close here so you can see this, is right on the edge where this bone touches this bone, there is a smooth surface. And this is where the cartilage is. Cartilage is like a Tupperware. It's a very smooth surface. So imagine the Tupperware and you poured olive oil on it. That's exactly what cartilage will feel like. Now osteoarthritis, imagine someone took like an ice pick or a pen and just stabbed the crap out of the cartilage, shanked it. <laughs> There would be little tiny holes. The cartilage would just be beat up. It would be rough now, holes in it. The olive oil would seep into it. It wouldn't be as smooth. The worst thing that you can do is now do exercises like running, locking your knee and compressing this area and then grinding the cartilage. That's just gonna accelerate your osteoarthritis. If you were to pull the joints apart and then move them, it would result in pain-free movement. So the exercise I'm gonna show you is going to reduce the stress on the cartilage so it can naturally heal, it'll reduce inflammation, and it'll make your life a lot easier to deal with because you'll be in a lot less pain. Now the first thing that you're gonna need are a set of weights, and I'll put a link down below in the description if you need to look at where I got these weights and where I would recommend them. I'm an Amazon affiliate, but I don't really care where you get them. You can get them anywhere you want. The important thing is to make sure that you get a total of 20 pounds, 10 pounds on one leg, 10 pounds on the other. That's the required amount to traction the actual knee joint itself. What you'll do, I'll show you, is you're going to place the ankle weights on your ankles. like so. You'll sit off a tall chair. If you don't have a tall chair, one of the options that you can do is put some pillows underneath your legs so that your body raises, or you could buy some tall chairs, or if you have no other option, you can place a pillow underneath your knees so it raises your legs up. Just like a child would be antsy, a child that is sitting there and just can't keep their legs still. You'll kick your legs back and forth like this. The 10 pound weights are now tractioning my tibia away from my femur. And when you do that, there's no stress on the cartilage. Cartilage gets its nutrients through a process called imbibition. That means that you have to create suction in order for nutrients to get in there and fluid to circulate. And that's what you're doing here. Now the important thing is the way in which I'm swinging. This is very important. Number one, I go back and forth. Number two, I'm doing it in a very relaxed fashion. I'm not using my quadriceps. So right now my quadriceps are not actually activating. I'm just swinging the legs like this. And in just a moment, I'll tell you how long to do this, how often to do this, and when you should start to see results. But the important thing is to make sure you're not swinging your legs actively like this because then your thighs will be contracting and pulling the tibia up through the patellar tendon. That's not what you want. So this is not a knee extension exercise, but rather it's a very relaxed traction with motion at 90 degrees. How often should you do this exercise? Every single day, seven days a week. How many times per day should you do this? Three times per day, how long should you swing your legs? Three minutes. So it's three minutes, three times a day, seven days a week. Now the interesting thing is this feels so good. I have had patients 
that I've done this in the office for just one time, three minutes, they literally take the ankle weights off and say they feel absolutely fantastic. It's amazing. It's almost like a weight was lifted, pressure was lifted out of their knees. For many people that have severe osteoarthritis, you can do this for about a month and a half, two months before you may start to notice results. So you just have to keep at it. The nice thing is, other than the cost of the weights, you don't have to go into therapy three times a week to do this. You're actually doing it at home every single day. Mm -hmm.